In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at Entity Framework Migrations in Visual Studio ASP.NET MVC. So what we'll be doing is we'll be creating one project in ASP.NET MVC and we will be trying to update ASP. and we'll be updating ASP.NET users built in a default table. So I've already given a name to my project, Web MVC EF Migration and directory path is also mentioned. Let's click on OK now. And here I'll be selecting MVC. Now let's click on OK over here. So it will be creating a project and here you can see that the project has been created. Now let's go inside the Solution Explorer and take a look at it. So here are the files, references, app data contents, controller and everything. We can also take a look at the server explorer and uh, if you see this web.config file we already have a default connection over here. Now in order to attach this database first of all we need to run our project so here I will be running the project now and here you can see that it's running now in my localhost at this port number and you can see that I've also registered over here as soon as you will create an account what will happen is inside the app data directory the tables will be created now I'll go inside the server explorer and you can see that the default connection is now available over here so f you need to create the account then only the tables get generated and now if I go ahead and see inside the tables directory I have all these tables coming up if I just explore this ASP net users table I see all these column names are present now the requirement over here is I need to add some new columns to this table and if I do that I will also have to actually update my views as well so what I'll be doing over here is I'll be making the changes in my code and then those code changes will actually create the columns in my ASP.NET users table and for that we will be making use of EF migration. So in order to work with entity framework migration you can open up the package manager. So here in our view go to other windows and you'll find package manager console. So this window comes up and here you can enable migrations so I'll write enable dash migrations and then I can press enter now inside the models directory you'll find this file called identity model.cs just open it up and there you'll see this application user class so you can add a property over here uh, like this public string address get set and ensure that you also have reference to using system now these two things are done we have our address property inside the application user class now we need to add this column in our database to do that I'll be going to my package manager console and here I'll be writing add migration and I'll be giving it a name so I'm giving a name to the migration so address is what I'm adding so I'm giving it a name called address now let's press enter you'll notice that here inside the migrations directory some new files will be created see underscore address dot cs and now I can go ahead and say update dash database press enter so it executed that now if I go ahead and refresh this page refresh this table you'll find the address column being added over there in the database now one more thing we need to do after updating the database and that is updating the register view model so here in my model I'll be updating this file account view model dot cs and if I just remove this for now scroll down a bit you'll find this class register view model now this register view model is actually used in our views 
where user gets the form and they fill it up and create their account. So I can add the address field over here. So I can simply write it in this way, public string address and then get set. Okay. Now I've done it over here. I also need to update my views. So I'll go inside views and I'll be opening up this register.cshtml and here in order to have a text box I'll be just copying this section and pasting it over here. I'll say label for m dot and you can see address is coming up over here and uh, text box for is what I'll need and here I'll say address. Now let's save this. We still have to update one more thing and inside the solution explorer go inside the controllers and here count controller you'll find. Open that up and then where we are registering it you will find here the register is there which is having this register view model and now the application user. If I just have to add break the application and here I'll be saying address equals model dot address. So we have the address now and here we are creating the user and then logging it. Now let's run one more time. I'll be logging off from here. Click on register again and I'll be registering with a new account. Let's enter password over here, format and then address. Now click on register. Now let's go ahead and see the table. So I'll be refreshing it and then saying show table data. And now if you see the first record on top is having the value as well. So that's how you do EF migration using package manager console in Visual Studio dot net.